Hello, hello, my beautiful people. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Gretty, and I am the counselor and transformational coach at Butterfly Project. So today I wanted to talk about self-love in relationships, okay, or how it relates to relationships. So this is something that I work with my clients on quite a bit. Uh, a lot of my clients that come in you know, whether we're dealing with attachment issues, um, which come from your subconscious mind, childhood programming in your first six to 10 years, or if we are dealing with, you know, some sort of toxic relationship. I do help a lot of people that have dealt with, you know, things like narcissistic, um, you know, uh, toxic or any kind of toxic uh, relationships, things like that. Um, and, you know, so this is something that I really kind of work on with people. If I'm working with couples as well, I go over this uh, with them. Um, yeah, so this is actually a really important topic. And I touch on this probably with almost everybody that comes in uh, to see me. And this also could uh, have to do with, you know, any kind of relationship. It doesn't even have to be romantic. It could be, you know, business partnerships. It could be friendships. It could be family, right? So uh, this applies to kind of everything. And you guys, I'm sorry about my hair, but it's started getting humid. And I also have sparkles on my nails. Um, so it's like, you know, pulling on my hair. I have really, you know, thin curly hair. So sorry about the hair, guys. Um, but we're keeping it real over here. All right, my loves. So let's get into it. So I have a piece of paper here and I'm going to draw something for you guys. I'm not the best artist, but you know, um, I'll do my best. I'm really bad with circles. Actually, I can draw a lot of things, but circles is like not my thing. Um, so, and sorry guys, I keep adjusting the camera. I've had issues with it all day, but what I wanted to say is in order for us to have a healthy relationship, of course, as you probably know, self-love is really important. And this is why I keep, you know, kind of, what's the word? Not pressuring you guys, but I continue to harp on you guys about this. Sorry, forgot what the word was. So what I want you guys to know is when we are in a relationship and it doesn't mean that you can't be in a relationship if you're still working on this that's not what i'm trying to say so you know don't misunderstand but what i am trying to say is that in to have a healthy relationship we do need to be a whole complete person within ourselves and we can learn this in relationships and actually you guys a lot of people do self work and they do really great and then once you come into union with someone that's when you get triggered that's when the real work begins it's kind of like going and training for something and then you actually have to like in real life do it it's the same kind of thing so people mistaken that we have to do all this work before we get into a relationship you want to do some of it but a lot of it even if you feel like i've arrived i got this you know i got this i got this down i you know once you get into a relationship all of a sudden you realize oh my goodness there's all these things coming up that i need to work through yeah that's what relationships are for it is for you know us to heal these things to work through these things to learn these things it is going to bring up stuff but the problem is that people don't stay in the relationship they run away right instead of dealing with it and then they go and they pick somebody else thinking oh it must be the person and then we begin the cycle again so i want to help you all right today with this um and there's three things i want to bring to light today so this is going to be a lot shorter than i expected but the first thing is there are three kinds of relationships okay so i'm going to show you what these are the first type of relationship this is where i see a lot of this kind of toxicity looks like this each circle is an individual person. So one is you and one is the other person in relationship. And remember, it doesn't have to be romantic. This is what is called a codependent relationship. And I believe I've done a video like this before, but you know, new people on my channel, so I'll do it again. This is a codependent relationship and that's not healthy. Both people are kind of losing their own identity within, like there's too much togetherness, too much of the relationship. The relationship is taking over your identity. Then there's this other type of relationship.
This is called an independent relationship. This is kind of, you know, two ships. Hopefully you guys can see that. Two ships sailing in the night. This is like the, the roommates, okay? So let's say you are in a romantic relationship. This would be like roommates. You're not really connecting. You're not spending time investing in the relationship. Too much independence. So that's an independent relationship. So this is codependent. independent hopefully I spelled that right now I'm going to show you hopefully the last one Let's see if I can do this right so this is a healthy relationship it is called an interdependent relationship it is where each person has their own individuality but also they are connected by the relationship and it should be almost equal. So you both have your own interests, your, possibly your own friendships, you do your own things, hobbies, work stuff, whatever this is, um, you know, spending time on your own, whatever, self-help, you know, self-work, um, you know, spirituality, whatever this is, but then you also come together equally connecting to the relationship and investing into the relationship just as much as you do for yourself. This is an interdependent relationship and each individual is, is fine with that. They are understanding of that. They know that it's healthy and important for you to really love yourself, for you to you know, do things that make you happy outside of the relationship, that you can be happy and do these things outside of the relationship. And that is actually what is healthy. In a codependent relationship, this is if you're doing anything outside the relationship, it's like you're not happy. That's not healthy. And this is too much happiness outside the relationship and not enough within the relationship. And this healthy interdependent relationship this is a healthy version this is two whole complete people coming together uniting giving equally to the relationship but also to each individual self there's nothing wrong with loving yourself with feeling good with having your own interests doing your own things being happy outside the relationship but then also happy inside the relationship, right? Giving to the relationship, loving the relationship, investing in the relationship. That's healthy. And both people should be doing that. And that is what's healthy. So this is why working on yourself, working on self-love is so important, whether you're in a relationship or outside of it, but more importantly, when you're in it, it doesn't mean choose somebody else because you're just going to perpetuate the cycle. Okay. It is not the person that's the issue. It is you needing to do the work within yourself. So continue to invest in yourself, continue to love yourself. And this will create more health in your relationship. Start realizing that codependency is not healthy. And this is healthy. Healthy. This is, you know, working on loving yourself, also becoming a very secure individual within yourself. When you are solid, stable, and secure, your relationship will be happier, healthier, and flourish. This is important for both people to be working on this, regardless if it's intimate relationship or friendship or whatever kind of relationship it is. This, you know, uh, is for all relationships, okay? Parent child right? Friendships, co-workers, business partners, uh, whatever this is, but also especially, especially you guys in intimate relationships. But again, it could be all relationships. So remember, this is healthy. Being secure within yourself, loving yourself, right? And you give better into the relationship. So when you are filling your own cup in all the good self-loving ways, you have more love to pour into your relationship. So this is necessary. It is healthy. It is beautiful. Codependent 
and independent relationships are not what is healthy. All right, my loves. So remember to continue to pour into yourself. Love yourself. Do all these good things for yourself. Be happy with yourself and on your own, but also happy in the relationship, investing in the relationship, okay? Doing these things together as well. And both people should be doing this. Learning, loving yourselves, um, doing for yourself, investing in yourself. This creates growth for both people and growth for a beautiful, blossoming, blissful relationship. All right, my loves. So that was short and sweet. I'll probably dive into this a little deeper, you know, later on, hopefully. But I just wanted to, to do this video for you guys today. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to do all the things. Like this video, comment down below. I love hearing from you guys and responding to your comments. Subscribe to my channel if you are new here. I would absolutely love to have you here as part of this ever-growing butterfly community. As well, share this you know, video or my channel with others that you think it might be helpful for. As you guys know, one of my greatest passions is to help people and get uh, my messages out there. So doing any number of these things, you guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. It truly is the best way to help my channel to grow and to get my messages out there for those that need to hear it. Um, and as well, if you would like to work with me, whether it's in counseling or coaching, um, I do help people all over the world. I use Zoom. Uh, you can find my information in the description box below. And as always, you guys, I wish you all so much peace, love, and light. Until next time, bye-bye.